everyone. Welcome to the Rhonda Swan Show and welcome to season four. In fact, this episode is going to be nothing but spectacular because as you notice, I am not in my normal studio. I'm actually here cuddling up next to the fire in the snow, taking a bit of a break from Bali, Indonesia. But I was able to connect with one of my mentors, a woman that I look up to. You may know her as the empire maker and also the creator and founder of 10X Ladies. That's right, Elena Cardone is on the show today. I had interviewed Grant Cardone a couple months ago and it's time now to get the lady behind the man. In fact, we are gonna work together, all of us, to help Elena fill her 10X Ladies event. So we wanna see you all there. So why don't we bring Ms. Elena Cardone out. Welcome to the Rhonda Swan Show. Mama, it is so amazing to have you on the show. How are you? Wow, it is so good to be here. Thank you for having me. I'm so impressed by everything that you've done and are doing. Um, So it's really an honor to be here. Thanks for having me. Same. I know I'm not in my normal studio. I'm all fuzzied up in the warmth here in the snow, but I was really honored that you had the time to speak because I know you've got a really big event coming up that I am going to be joining you at, um, 10X Ladies event in February of 2022. I'm so excited about it. And I wanted, my audience is always looking, right, for like more women vision. And, you know, with the Woman Gone Wild book that we just launched, we have got hundreds of thousands of women that are looking for guidance in the next, you know, what, who's that leader that's taking charge? And you were the first woman that came into mind. So will you share a bit about 10X Ladies and kind of why you took that path and really where you're, where we're going to go with it in uh, February? Yeah. So 10X Ladies is, uh, I, I bring in a, a number of powerful women speakers uh, to help fast track the audience, uh, the attendees a fast track and accelerate their way to success. Um, Also, it's about building a community of like-minded individuals who are really here, who have similar realities on what it is to be a woman. Not that there's any, you know, just for the record, there's no man bashing here. It's just about women coming together who understand women in order to support each other to reach a heightened level of success, you know, support, show active interest in the success of. And I think a lot of reality amongst a lot of women is, you know, and and again, it's not complaining. It's just what seems to be reality for us is that we not only have to take care of ourselves, our husbands, our partners, our children, our colleagues, sometimes you can feel like, well, who is there to take care of me? So this is really a place where women cannot come together, understand that reality and really be there for each other in the process. So, so you, you actually leave more empowered and when you can go back into society and become a better contributing role model player in your family and, and take off the need of trying to depend on somebody else to give you that support or to give you that validation and making them wrong over it and becoming that, becoming the game that holds you back and sets you back in life. No, this is like, okay, you have your support. Go get something else from your partner. Like what are your roles and strengths in the relationship and how can y'all collaborate and get that from him to make you move up to a heightened level of success. And if he can't support you in this other area, that doesn't matter. Let him be great at what he and you can be great at and let this body of women be the army behind you to go to lift you. So this is what it's really about. It's about women coming together, owning their power, owning their responsibility um, on the planet to make a difference for the better. Mama, you are singing my song. I love it because I tell you, you're right right now, women more than ever. Like I, you know, I was a big corporate executive for fortune 100 company and the way we navigated was, you know, like, how can you step on your sisters or anyone else just to grow? And I think we're moving into a new generation where women are actually seeing that that isn't working, right? And in order for us to climb the ladder or to grow this empire that you talk so much about, we've got to do it together. And I love that. But you brought up something really powerful, Elena. Um, And it uh, it always comes down to, to this for myself as well, is that relationship that you have with your partner right? With your husband, you and Grant have just a magical relationship that has allowed you to, you know, create that strength together and work together. So what would you say then would be, you know, like more of that key practice that you both work on? Because 
you both have strong personalities. Like I'm the same way. My husband, we have strong personalities, right? Yeah. So what is that yeah. secret between the two of you and how you are building that empire together and how you keep that relationship strong? Well, I tapped in um, on it just a second ago, but the secret is, is first of all, um, we really sat together one day, several years back, there was the incident of 2008, forced me really to confront what I was doing and what we were doing with our relationship, which was mm -hmm. I was creating on my thing, he was creating on his thing. We were both vying for this power position, fighting each other, holding each other back. So out in life, we were going forward. At home, we were taking steps back. 2008 made me realize, you know what? Um, you know, I love this, this thing that you say, feminine guide to fearless living. You know, I was raised to believe that I had to be this strong, powerful, independent female, never depend on a man for anything. Now I'm married acting that way. So I can't depend on the husband that I'm married because now I'm going to violate women feminism around the world and everyone's going to hate me. One day I just mm -hmm. threw in the towel and I said, screw this. I'm doing me. I'm doing my relationship. I married the man. I didn't marry this imaginary feminist movement in my head. I said, I got to do what works for me. And that's when we came together and we said, who are we as a couple? I had never done that. I was already married for four years and I had all of my goals. I knew those, no one was going to stop me from achieving my goals, but it had never dawned on me to go to Grant and said, who are we as a couple? Where are we going? What is the thing that we're doing together? And we finally put the future there. We want to impact seven or eight billion, however many people are on the planet today. We want them to know who we are by our products and services. We put such big, huge targets together that all of a sudden now we're on the same page. Like, oh my God, we're going for such hugeness, for such uh, like insanity, like the audaciousness to do this. Well, what happened? happened in going for these purposes that are so big, two things. First, we had to figure out our strengths and weaknesses, not based on male, female, but really legitimately ego aside, look at who does what based on strengths and weaknesses and let that person be the boss of that area. And two, when we did that, because the goal was so big and now because I'm the boss in all these other areas, I didn't have to be the boss in his areas because I had my own thing that I had to keep up in the relationship. You know, I trusted him. I say that too. find the one you trust and build an empire. The second thing, okay, so you have the purpose, and once you have the roles figured out, then all that little small stuff, like, you know, the bickering of you did this, or you didn't do that, or, you know, you left the toilet seat up, you know, stupid stuff that really irritates you, and it does to me to this day legitimately, but when the goal is so big and you're working on so much bigger things, those things tend to subside. When you realize that you're an ally with your partner and you realize the, t the, the, the partner is not the enemy, like the tar that's not the target. That's the target. Those are the goals. You're not my enemy. Like, and it just got us working in a collaborated, coordinated effort. Once we did that, we almost instantaneously skyrocketed to another level. So. Mm -hmm. That's the big secret of Gran and I. We're very, is we're not perfect. We say that we're not perfect. I don't have this fairy tale life. My life, I mean, I do. I'm blessed. But I don't have, like, I don't ever want someone to look at my life and say, I want that relationship. And you fantasize that it's this big, wonderful, great thing. It is. Because we trust each other, we're loyal, we know our roles, we execute and we win. And we win, we fall more in love. So in that aspect, it's pretty darn perfect. But if you're looking at my life thinking, oh, she's in a plane and she's doing this and they must like have this just love and affection 24 seven, we don't. Like I look like, like, cause we're working, we're moving. We want people to know who we are. We have love in our relationship, don't get me wrong. I just don't want people to have these imaginations that everything is perfect. You know, because it's not like I'm, I'm this romantic. I'm, I'm a theater. I come from the theater. Like I want everything to be a movie. I want when I walk in the door, Grant to be like, Oh my God, you're the hottest thing I've ever seen. That's not happening. When I walk in the door, he's like, why didn't you do this and this and this and this has to happen? And why the kids need this? You know, it, that's life. That's our life. It's not this, you know, Oh my God movie. 
romantic right? movie that I have in my head. And so sometimes I can have a tendency to look at other relationships and be like, I wish I had that, you know, look how much he just dotes on her and loves her all the time, you know? And then I look, I, when I do that, I realize I get myself in trouble because now I'm in the comparison mm -hmm. game. And I'm like, okay, well, why am I going to do that? Why am I comparing? A, I don't know the whole scene. And B, like, for me, I need to be achieving my goals and my dreams. And my husband helps me to achieve my goals and my dreams. And sometimes that doesn't look like pretty handholding. Sometimes it looks like when I need to finish a book and I'm not finishing a book and he says, where are you at with the book? And I say, I give all my excuses. And he says, you're a lazy and a coward. And then that motivates me to get the book done. But then I got the book done and I gave myself a bit of confidence that I've never had before. And then I go a step further and I've helped other people. Guess what? My husband helped me achieve my goals and my dreams. That makes me love him even more, more than, oh, just, a you know, a, an extra little, you know, he w actually walked with her on the date night and not 20 feet in front of her. You know what I'm saying? Like if I yeah. had to actually compare apples to oranges, I'm going to pick my life a million percent, a million times over than that. Because for me, I need to be achieving my goals and my dreams. And I need somebody who I can depend on that's going to help me reach a heightened level of success. Otherwise, I don't want to be with them. If you're not in the relationship to help me get to a heightened level of success and vice versa, what is the point? I don't understand. What is the point to just be like mm -hmm, in love? That's our reality. That's what I love about you and Greg so much. Reality. You keep it, you keep it so real, right? Like this is, this is what women deserve to see because I think a lot of them do look at that like, oh, look at this fantasy life. And, but there's reality to everything. And if you can find that balance, which leads me into that question, like, where do you find then the balance for you? Because I see so many women, like they're either hard on the business side and the family suffers, right? Or they're hard on just the family side and they never build a business. So like, how do you find that balance? Like what would be the best advice you'd give for women right now that they can find that balance? Well, first, um, that is another aspect of what 10X Ladies is all about. It's about the five pillars. And I talk about that. I said, you can't be 10X in mindset and have your health be failing. You can't be in great health and have all of your relationships fail. You know, so 10X Ladies is about mindset, relationships, not just with your partner, with your colleagues, your children, relationships. So mindset, relationships, business, finance, and wealth. I mean, in health, sorry. And, 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 and you can't have one and the other suffer. So how do I do it? A, you gotta have the awareness that those five exist and figure out what you need to spend attention on and how you can build up while maintaining the five juggling balls in the air. And, and that's what we're going to be covering at 10X Ladies and how to facilitate and help you. So you're operating in, in this example on all five cylinders. Love it. Yeah. I'm so excited to be there. We, um, I know a lot of my audience as well is, is wants to know more about it. So we'll make sure that everyone has how to get into 10X Ladies, if there's still tickets available. Um, 10XLadies.com, 10XLadies.com. I, I, I would love you all to be there. Support, love you know, my favorite definition, support, show active interest in the success of. That's what, I, 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 I want to support women and I also want women to support me. It's a, it's a beautiful exchange when it goes back and forth. And you know, the greatest validation that anyone can give me is to be successful one with the material and to, and to support and to support show active interest in the success of. So hopefully I'll see you all there and I can just, yeah, I love it. Flow it right Elena, back at you. That's it, mama. You're amazing. I love what you stand for. I love how you manage your business, your relationships with your children. I'm so excited to, um, you know, learn more at 10X Ladies and really get into that energy because man, we know when we're in that vibration with other women, like we cannot be stopped. And so I, be stopped. that's it. You know, yes. I, I've, I love it. So uh, thank you for your time. You are incredible. We will see you there. Is there any last thing that you want to share with the audience before we go? Um, sure. You know, I just came across this definition. This is uh, what I was telling you that I, I just had this epiphany this morning. I love looking up words. I want to share this because it hit me in a very impactful way. Um, I've heard this term a lot. Never looked up the definition, the definition of level up. 
I've heard it a lot. Level up. It means to increase something in order to remove a disparity. You know, like the disparity between poor and rich. There's a disparity, right? So if you're a woman out there and you believe that women have a disparity or an underhand to men, the answer to that is not to complain about it. It's to actually increase something in order to remove a disparity. So what is it that you're going to increase? Knowledge, certainty, confidence, network, your network of women, support. What are you going to do to increase something in order to decrease the disparity? So level up, ladies. Join me. I'm willing to level up. New year, new you. Let's go. Let's do it. Well, you heard it, everyone. Elena Cardone is calling us out. It's time to level up. 10x our level life. Up. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna remove the disparity. Let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Awesome, Mama. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you and um, let's do this. You got Bye, it. Bye, everyone. <laughs>